that's not what you no, were no, talking no, no, to when you no, interrupted no, no. the speech. Me you say, kept saying he lied, me say but you were, and I'm telling you, that's the not lies. what you're talking about. Let me say that's to not you what you said during the speech. I was listening to the speech, yes. and I was listening First of all, it to wasn't you. Wasn't a speech. Interrupt the, the, the three Here's panelists the and the president. You were not one of the panelists. If you were the journalist, why weren't you up there asking questions? We've been journalists up here every year. We've been around 49 years. We have multiple journalists. Why were you not on that stage? Let me be real clear. You were just in the audience screaming. Let me lie. Let me be real clear. From row one. Let me real clear. Who put you in row one? Because you're cute and you get your little video. So you're talking to somebody who has far more history in this organization than you've ever been. So I'm not a member. There That's true. There you I'm go. definitely not an NAPJ so, member. When you're not a member and you have no understanding of our history or our membership, you don't realize founders are sitting here. You don't realize that poor presidents are sitting here. You can just rudely interrupt okay, okay, from the okay, first row. Okay. Let me say it again. That's not what journalists do. Oh, actually, you have the. Are you're you a not a journalist. Are you a journalist? I think I am. Or you're no, no, you. No, no. I'm asking real questions really? right now. You're just are you a journalist? Are you bullshit. a journalist? Why are you a journalist? What's your organization? Because I'm asking. Questions. No, no. What's your media organization? I'm independent. I'm asking no, no. you. What's questions. your media organization? Oh, you need to be in a media organization. Well, with if, if you're going to be a journalist, so. you have to be with a media entity. So oh, what's right. Your media you need to be paid off by big corporate no, media. No, actually, what's your media entity? Who do you work for? Well, I work for me. I own my company. Oh, really? So you're an independent journalist? No, no. no. Isn't that yeah. what I just said? No, actually, but I named this the company. This doesn't make any sense. It's Black Star Network. What's your company? The what? What's your company? What's the, what's the state the, media what's company? Your company? The company. It's called, it's the, called company. the company. Oh, it's called the company. company. It's called my company. Okay, that's cute. That's great. Are you the CEO? Are you Actually, the CEO? Maybe. No, no, so, are, listen, no, are you the why CEO? Why were you not on that Message stage? Are you the CEO? CEO? That's Roland Martin arguing at the NABJ convention. That's all he was doing the whole time, screaming and being emotional. Now, before the event, he spoke out against having an all-female panel to interview Trump. No black male journalist. Got 4,000 members. The truth is, he really didn't care about black men having a voice. He just wanted to wobble up there himself. No, he was not advocating for black men. He was advocating for Roland. He didn't want Trump at the event at all, but didn't care that the NABJ wasn't important enough for Kamala to show up too. They spent the last two weeks worshiping this non-black, racially ambiguous chameleon just for her to turn around and disrespect them by not having her at their event. Kamala knew about this event ahead of time, but didn't care to show up because she didn't want to face the old black media. I don't know what she's scared of. They're not going to ask her any questions about actual tangibles for black people, like what she supports specifically for her red dot Indian community or immigrants. I guess she's really not sure what would happen if she had to come off the speech that was already rehearsed and answer questions. Her advisors don't want her to take any chances. So it didn't matter that Kamala the cosplay and chameleon snubbed them and the boogeyman orange man bad actually showed up. Trump agreed to come. Kamala didn't, and that's why Roland Martin was already having a meltdown before Trump's appearance at the conference. Two, no black male journalists. Got 4,000 members. I'm down for the sisters. And if there were three black men and no sisters, I would be joining the sisters saying, what representation? It's the reason why they had three women on the panel and not one man. But he's so busy simping for Kamala the cosplaying chameleon, he can't even see what's really going on. During the Trump discussion, Roland was sitting up in the front row acting like a terrible two-year-old, interrupting the ladies and Trump, which was also disrespectful, all because he wanted to be one of the women on stage and they wouldn't let him in. So he just sat there the whole time yelling from his high chair. Then when it was over, he went spreading his narrative on his platform and to all of his old black media friends, saying Trump shouldn't have been invited and how they should have cut him off, basically saying the discussion should have been like a baddies reunion. He's been criticizing the NABJ, asking why was Trump allowed to come when they've been inviting presidents and candidates for years. Obama Democrat, George Bush Republican. They're supposed to be unbiased media and professional. However, it's very obvious that they don't know how to do that. Because let's be honest, they would have never started an interview off like that with Kamala. They would have spent the whole time talking about her HBCU experience, being an AKA, and I can't forget the most important issue in the black community to Kamala, getting rid of more black babies. That's all they would have talked about. And let me tell you, every single one of them in the building would have been cheering the whole time. Yeah, cheering for our own destruction. First of all, Kamala Harris didn't even show up. Kamala Harris didn't even show up because she don't feel like she needs to show up because she already knows she got the black votes lined up in Chicago and she don't have no respect for the black people. And you know, let's not forget, she, you know, she chicken. She complete chicken. 
But she been saying she wanted to debate Trump, and this would have been the best time for her to be on stage with Trump and say whatever she wanted to say to him. But of course, she didn't even show up. The doggone interviewers, they were 35 minutes late because they had no respect for Trump either. But Trump, kudos to you for going into this bull crap. Now, this interview didn't even start the interview off by saying hello, President Trump, or hello, former President Trump, or hello, Trump. She didn't even speak to him. She just went straight into the text. Let me tell y'all something. I don't like Kamala Harris at all. Period. Y'all know I don't like Kamala Harris. But she is the VP of the United States of America. And if I had a conversation with her, if I had an interview with her, the first thing I would do before I even started any question would say, hello, VP Harris, how you doing? That's the least respect you can give to anybody. But these disrespectful tricks, they have any respect for Trump. All they did was come out with a tag from the beginning. Tariq Nasheed also agreed they should ask important questions while maintaining a level of decorum pretty objective and this is what you're supposed to do and this is another thing when Trump went over there to speak to the NABJ you know a lot of people are critical of the them being rude because the thing is there's a rule if you invite somebody to your platform or to your house or to your forum you're supposed to and, and they accept you're supposed to give them just the proper amount of respect for just showing up in good faith you don't bring somebody on just to browbeat them immediately you can ask tough questions but you don't invite somebody to your platform and get them there and then just start start browbeating them after they've accepted an invitation you're supposed to show some kind of decorum but that thing with nabj where they're just when they got the women up there asking these accusatory questions and kind of being rude and all that and didn't they have Roland out there yelling in the audience, Roland big old jolly ass out there yelling like a damn woman, yelling stuff? Come on, man, that ain't, dude, that, they didn't have no men up there. See, this is, this is what we need. We need masculinity out here. You put the women out there, and then if Trump says anything that they don't like, oh, that's misogyny, uh, all of that stuff. See, I don't want us to be looking I don't want the black community to just perpetually be feminized where the women got to represent and Trump is out here standing on manhood business. Just the optics of it. We got Trump walking in like a man, standing up like a man, and you got a big Rollins jolly ass with his bouncing in the audience yelling. And there's women on stage. Come on, man. The problem with Roland is, in his mind, he thinks he should be the main person in charge to speak to and for black people. He's yelling in the audience that Trump is a liar over and over again when he had Tiffany Teflon in his face and allowed her to lie for an hour over and over again, undermining the black women and black men that's been fighting for justice while all the crooks in Cook County and the whole state of Illinois allowed her to steal millions from black people and ruin their businesses. He didn't have that energy at all with her. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. At the end of the day, Roland, you don't run the NABJ. You're just a member. He's acting like it's a company and he's the owner. He's only mad because he wasn't chosen to interview Trump. He was talking as if he was standing up against it being all black women and wanted a black man in there, knowing that if a black man was selected other than him, he would still be throwing a tantrum. You would think that an organization that's always speaking on diversity, they would want a black man up there. But for Roland, this wasn't about that. It was about him. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this below. Special thank you to Emmanuel. I appreciate you for all of your support. Much love to T. Gordon Williams, Donald G, Dark Power, Daryl and Selena, and Roland C. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.